Okay, so here's your tutorial for your face illusions. Um, you're going to start out with your two files. Um, here I have the front on picture of the student that I chose. Um, she's doing her surprised um, mood. And then I have my side picture. Now we're not going to do anything right now to the side picture. It's just going to be left as is. You don't have to run the action on it. You don't have to clean it up. It's just going to be left. So I'm going to go back to my front, okay? Um, you are not going to crop it to begin with. Leave it the original size. Run your perfect portraits action on it, perfect portrait to action on it, flatten it. So that is what I've done. This is where I'm at. I've ran my perfect portrait. As you can tell, if I go into my history, you will see that I ran it. Snapshot here. Original perfect portrait. Okay, so we have that done. Uh, what we need to do next is we just need to copy and paste the other image into it. So let's select all, Command A, Command C to copy, go back into my perfect portrait 2 and paste. So now we have this image on top. Uh, next I am going to unlock this layer and press OK. So now we have layer zero. Um, that will be important in the future. Now I'm going to go back to my layer one and I need to move this layer so it splits my subject's face in half. But I can't see through it. So I can do one of two things. I can either switch this to multiply so then I can see through it or I can just turn the opacity down to about 50%, which is what I'm going to choose to do. Now first I'm going to hide this and I'm going to look at her face and I'm actually just going to put a line here that splits her face in half, just so I have it. Then I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to free transform this because I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to have to tweak, tweak it a little bit, so I'm going to Command T which is the shortcut for free transform. And I'm going to start moving it around. I'm going to zoom in on her face here. Now, I want this larger. So I'm going to go to a corner and holding shift that is very important. There is nothing that upsets me more than a distorted face, even if it is just a silhouette. So I'm going to hold shift while I drag and then I'm going to move it into here. This is a little too big, I think. Because I like to line up the eyes here. I like the nose in here. I'm going to make it just a little smaller. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. I'm going to rotate it so her silhouette is more straight up and down. And I like it so her nose fits right in there, and her eyes line up here, and her chin does as well. If you want to make it a little bigger, a little smaller, it's fine. I'm going to just hit enter. Now I'm going to turn my opacity back up. And now to select the face. Since we did all of our pictures with a white background, this should be easy. Um, you're going to use the quick selection tool which is the fourth tool down. It's hidden underneath the magic wand tool if your magic wand tool is up. I'm making sure that sample all layers is not checked. It's very important it's not checked. And that layer one is. So we're going to just pull, click and drag. I'm just going to select the background of my subject. And I'm not going to worry down here because I'm probably going to crop down things anyway. So I have this. But I also know that using this tool gives me something that's very jagged. So I'm going to have to modify that a little bit. But first I'm going to select inverse because I actually want her face selected. Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to modify this and I want to smooth it. Um, anywhere from 5 to 10 pixels. I'm going to pick 7. Now it's nice and smooth hopefully. Now I'm going to click on my background layer or my layer zero and I'm just going to click on layer mask. And it does nothing because I still have this open. I click on that. There we have it. Um, our cutout. 
Obviously we need to crop this down now, so I'm going to crop it to 8 by 10, 300 resolution. You can switch that to 5 by 7 if you want to. We're going to zoom in, cropping this in, following the rule of thirds. I'm going to put her eyes going through there, move this over just a little bit. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to drag that below. Now I can fill this white, I can fill it black, or I can use my color picker and choose the color that's in the background and fill it the background color. Okay, next I can go in and go back to here and I can tweak things a little bit. Um, it, there's some jagged edges right in here, so I'm going to pick my brush. You want a hard edge brush, not a soft edge brush, with the opacity at 100% mode normal. This is how your top should look. Size depends on on what you're doing. I'm going to zoom in on the bottom portion here where it's a little jagged and I can smooth that out if I want to. I can get rid of this edge if I wanted to so I wouldn't have um, this part to make this a lot bigger. I'm gonna get rid of it so it's not so jagged right there because I really just want her face to be in there. Just like that. I can see what I see there's a little black spot right there so I can get that out so I know. So now I just have Kerrigan um, my subject just floating right there in the center, which is exactly what I want. So this is exactly how I want it to look. I can flatten this. Now I can keep it. I can save it as a color if I want to keep it a color. If I want to turn it to black and white, which I really like, um, I would choose Pioneer Woman's the PW black and white action. Let me find her actions in here. I have so many. The PW is black and white, puts a nice vignette around it. I really like the vignette. I'll show you what the vignette, what it looks like with and without. So let's make a little snapshot here. Let's run this action real quick. Adjust the light layer if you want to. I'm going to press play again. Now we have this vignette. Or you can run just the black and white beauty on it as well. Which would do that. Um, personally, I like the nice vignette around it. Um, that is just my opinion. Uh, you can do whatever you want for it, but that is the quick, easy, simple way to create your face illusions using Photoshop.